Salusa family, <clears throat> you know, I've been doing my studies as far as with the um, ABS tribe. And um, it was something that I was thinking about uh, bringing to the attention of the host far as if you're going to host far as a Zoom call with a lot of individuals far as students and you're teaching or hosting or whatever that may be the concern. And I seen what I was thinking done in uh, a professional manner with um, politicians. So I think it is good. I just hadn't brought it up. But before you get started, you should run down a quick list of the, ha the do's and don'ts on, on the broadcast as far as in make sure your, your, your um, volume is muted. Because I have seen instances where people was out of control and didn't have their stuff muted and it looked the ghetto, to be honest. And then uh, when, when you're talking over somebody else, like there, I seen it on one where Miss T was getting over talked. That was disrespectful and uh, looked it bad. But um, to present, uh, to keep it mute, and when you talk, make sure um, if you're going to press the button to uh, ask a question, have your question already totally thought out, not just to be um, trying to um, say something on the fly. And the person that allows the individual to ask their question, as long as they're, they're, they're um, breaking down to, to give a great, uh, greater detail of the question they're asking, to not cut them off. To not have them have to hurry up to get their thought out. Everybody do not think at a fast pace. Some people are coming over strokes. Some people are coming over eels. Some people are coming out of a, um, a point of not talking at all. Not uh, expressing their feelings. Not being able to uh, dis uh, tell somebody their truth. Uh, uh, They've been um, oppressed or uh, uh, down talked and things of that. Not to force them or press them to hurry up. If they are on that question and they are expressing that question, do not do that to an individual. That right there is like uh, causing an individual to go back into a hole that they was coming out of. And by you doing those type of things, you can cause that individual to go back into that hole and may not come out that hole for a time period. So that is not a good thing to do, to rush a person into doing something when they're trying to express themselves the best way possible. That is not good. Now, if a person has asked their question and they're um, steady going, I can understand that. But you do not stop a person from asking a question and then make it totally understood before you even go into what is being asked, which I see uh, Brother Ben X do. Br brother Ben X, X do, brother. Brother Ben X. Um, stick to the subject. Now, another thing um, also should be. Um, expressed at the beginning of uh, a Zoom. Don't expect everyone to just know. I don't care if they've been in four months, five months, six months, seven months. They might have not been tuning in when you said it. They might have not been there when you said it. You can't expect somebody to know something when you don't know if they know it or not. So when it comes to the chat Area. I noticed in some of the old videos that some of them, um, they had like two, one for chat and then one for asking questions. That's something that need to come back into an implementation, but done correctly. Because sometimes it's good for individuals, if you know anything, that's why successful, um, that's why, that's one reason YouTube is so successful is they have a chat section. Where the individuals in the chat can come in later on or whatever, introduce themselves, say hi. They may know individuals in the uh, chat, 
or individuals in there and they can go in and express themselves and, and say hi, this and that. And feel more at home, feel more comfortable. They come in, they see other individuals, they can't speak to them. Well, you, they got it on Zoom where you can go directly to them and, and speak. But most people don't have time for that. They may be on a, um, a, a, a quick roll. They may be driving. They, you know, it's too many. Some, when it comes to when you got to click more than two buttons sometime, that's sometime that's too much in this time period. If you can just press the button one time and you dare with one command, that's good. But, um, yes, and don't put them on front street. Front street. There's no reason for anybody else to know what a person uh, such and such don't, don't do that. No, you ain't got to say it like that. Just say it uh, universal. Because now, you why, by you pointing that individual out, you made it more so personal than for a universal purpose. See? Because you're seeing that person as the only individual that will ever do that or have ever done it. When most time it's not that individual that's the only one that ever done it. But if you made it more universal and said it in a way where it could um, warn individuals in the past, individuals in the present, and individuals that's coming, it will be more suitable. But, you know, you also have individuals that they see you coming. So they putting the warnings out or things of that nature for the individual. That's fine. That's cool. But don't think God don't see you, let alone other individuals don't see how you treat certain individuals. If you cannot treat every individual on a call the same manner as if it was a, a, a robot, you know how a robot um, treat everybody the same, don't care who you are, don't care what size you is, don't care how much business money you're making. The, the, the robot going to do you the same way the next individual and the next individual and the next. Because that, that, that computer is in a mind state of rising above emotion and to the thinking of God, which is based on justice, freedom, equality. And if you can uphold it as if you were not saying you're a robot, but with that mentality, there's some there, 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 there's there's some growth need to be done there. There's growth need to be done there. OK, so um, back to what I was saying and she was saying and she was saying on the politicians, you know, hit the mute button, explaining about the mute button and things of that nature. And um, when you're not talking um, go back to hitting your mute because that's out of respect. Just like when the minister was in the centurion and in the centurion, he was like, we must be the example with the mask. You see what I'm saying? Even though we know certain things about the mask uh, and things of that nature, we're doing it for an example for the rest of the world. We're not doing this for no personal reason. We're not doing this for no selfish reason. We're not doing this for no boastful reason. We're doing this for an example, a universal example of what we need to be able to do in this time period. Okay. Now, with that being stated, family, <clears throat> uh, and yeah, uh, with the chat, they always have moderators and their moderators would put the people in check, not the person too much on the, on the front. And, and, and really, all YouTubers need to get out of that, that, that point of you having to check individuals in your lives by call, calling them out. You know, just to get some drama, just to get more attention, just to bring a little more spark to your presentation when it should already be there. You should already have moderators inside of your chats to be able to implement what needs to be done. And if they are not up to par to deal with a, a situation of such, then you need to um, explain to them what you 
uh, what's okay and what is not okay. Okay, and how to and, and how to deal with that. No need for you to be up uh, explaining something or or conversating with the audience, and then you have to go and put a person inside of a chat. I, Call them trolls, whatever you want to call them, on a front street. Why would you even give them that attention? That's free advertisement. That's free attention. Okay? So when you give them the power or the energy or the frequency to pause what you was on and your power and frequency and give it to them, they win. So... You have to come to the point where you don't have to go about it like that. Now, if they're asking a question or something like sometime a professor um, Griffs, he'd be like, uh, what are you saying? I, um, explain yourself. What, what is that about? You know, he 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 don't you know, if you're going to say something negative or something, why? Explain yourself. You see what I'm saying? Where, where, why are you saying this? Where are you coming from? What, what, what is this? anger coming from? What is this heartache coming from? What is this pain coming from? What is this strife coming from? What is this hate coming from? And when you start to dig into the depths of what the troll is doing, you come into a better understanding of that troll or whatever the person is going through. So you and everybody else in your audience and moderators would know how to deal with an individual that of that um, Steve. It's like a child. Child sometimes just wants some attention. The child has been neglected too long. The child is in a need of healing. The child is in a need of affection. The child is in a need of help. And most time they're calling out for a need of help in some type of way or. I just say in some type of way, but you get what I'm saying. We must become more of a healer, not just a YouTube um, destroyer of our people because they're in a sick mind state. Or it may not even be our people. It could be of another people, but not to be of a destructive manner so quick. So we should be able to understand and be able to heal an individual. You see, I'm saying we always think that by destroying a person. By taking them off the map, by blowing them out the water, by taking them off the charts. And I be the top dog and I'm on the top. You we really doing something, huh? We really we, we really feel like we really doing something, huh? That's like we trying to build a pyramid. And every time you get upset with one block on the pyramid, you go and bust it up. Because it ain't the same size as yours, you go and chop it up. You see what I'm saying? Things of that nature. And you wonder why the pyramid don't never, ever get bigger. Instead of, okay, that, that, that block is shorter than that one. But I could put this little one right there to make it fit so all of them still be at a perfect harmony. And we can keep on building the pyramid up to the top. See, people is forgetting about that. They make it seem as if... When, when we built the pyramids, all the uh, the the building blocks was the same size to come to this end result when it was not true. And in a lot of other uh, areas on our planet, it shows the same thing. Some was bigger. Some was smaller. Some had different cuts than the other ones. But when you put them all together, when it takes a person that can put them all together like putting a puzzle together or getting it to the point where it's so tight you can't even get uh you can't even get air through it that's tight that's tight that's razor razor tight i don't know how they make them cuts i don't know how they fit them together you see what i'm saying man went through over there alexander after they didn't left Went blown, trying to blow it up and tear it up and destroy it. But it was still so strongly built together to this day. It's still an example of how to build a solid wall structure with on four founded 
part on size. Not three. Four. Not a three for a test. Four for a solid foundation. And that's what I had to come with today, family. That was in me. All right there, family. Keep your heads up. Stay focused. Read. Peace.